Warning, we take extreme precautions while exploring abandoned places and always leave them intact. Our main objective is always to document. Exploring abandoned buildings is an incredible way to get a glimpse into what an apocalyptic world would look like and we love the thrill of it. Now, earlier this year we were in Mexico and we had heard of a mysterious resort in Tulum, which was 100 kilometers away from where we were staying in Playa del Carmen. Apparently, a hurricane in 2005 destroyed the place and the owners abandoned it. We located it on the map and heard that the police still patrol the areas, so we needed to be careful. This is an abandoned resort and that's right next to the Catalonia. So, how are we gonna get in there? We're gonna wear these cool headlamps and go explore <laughs> abandoned hotels. But I'm gonna break this to you right now. We never end up finding this resort. But as you'll see, this story is not just about an abandoned resort, but about how our persistence can sometimes turn against us and things go terribly wrong. And we were off to a very confusing start. Oh my God, what the hell? Whoa, is this it? Is there someone in there? I thought Tulum is a hotel A man who lived right by where the resort used to be claimed that he had never heard of it. He told us he'd watch over our car while we'd go searching, and we took his word. He lives here, and he's never heard of this abandoned hotel. Either he's never walked down his own path to the beach, or... This abandoned hotel does not exist. We marked our path to remember our way back, and we started our journey into the unknown. There's one good place to kill someone. Right here, while we're walking. There's not been a single human or car. Where in the world are we? No, I don't think I brought my phone. Are you serious? No one brought our phone? Anyone gets hurt? There's a gate. There's a gate right there. There's someone's house. There's someone there. What? It's very sketchy. It's, I say we go in and just like talk to him, it's fine. This is in the middle of nowhere. We don't have phones. There's barbed wire everywhere. I don't know what this guy does. I don't really want to find out. There's... He's coming anyway, so. Coming here? Yeah, he's on his way. He's coming out with his dogs. Okay, so the boys just walked into a random guy's house in the middle of freaking nowhere. And they've been gone for several minutes and I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Yes, go. Hola. The playa? No. We had no idea whose property we had just stepped onto, but they were guarding it with weapons and they were clearly not expecting any guests. Gracias. They're standing watching us. Should we run? Send someone behind us. Right. Should we keep running? Please, Please just walk fast. I thought we would just walk into the abandoned hotel, but no. This has to happen every damn time. I honestly thought we were running until like, the cartel hit. And the dog shot. You're crazy. We made sure we lost the armed men following us. And at this point, any rational being would have walked back to the car as fast as possible. But our persistence has opened up so many adventures for us in the past, so we kept going. And beyond this point, you'll watch what happens when we just can't reach our goal and descend into madness. All right, guys. I thought that now that the guys are gone, this is the perfect opportunity for me to start my makeup tutorial. And they're like, no, we gotta keep going. I'm just looking for an abandoned hotel. You want seen it? It's gonna suck to walk back. Especially when it's getting darker. If we get lost or killed, nobody will know. Matt literally looks like a caveman right now. It's stuck on this island forever. Day one was a total fail, but we still wanted to find this f***ing resort. It looked like we might have mislocated the resort on the map by a mile south, so we went back the following day with complete certainty of where the hotel would be. Alright boys, time for a little round two. Let's do this. I always say let's do this. Turn left. What does that say? It's a private property. That's not good. What worries me is that everybody keeps saying they have no idea what we're talking about. Hola. Hi. Hola, señor. Turns out we had driven down the path to a remote yoga retreat with still no sign of the damn hotel. Okay, this is an episode about finding an abandoned resort that does not exist. 
but, but that, that makes is... no sense. I mean, there's a resort on Google Maps that should be right here, abandoned, and it's not here, and no one has heard of it. We had never been left so frustrated and confused. Pero antes había un hotel, no? No, aquí no había nada. No había nada. No. Did you film that? Yeah. He just asked that guy if there was anything here before, and he says there's nothing. Officially the weirdest thing that we've ever done. We concluded the day with more questions than answers, and the mystery itself to this day remains... What happened to this resort, and what were those men hiding? See you next Sunday.